My name is Mariana and I'm one of the authors and producers of Caramelle together with my sister Camilla and my brother Matteo who is also the director and the little boy in the film. Together we run a company focused on producing 2D and 3D animations both for entertainment and advertising. Caramelle, which is the Italian word for sweets, is our first independent production. Caramelle tells the tale of inextricable tie between three generations, a bond so strong as to transcend the boundaries between life and death in an atmosphere of compelling magical realism. The story is based on an episode of our childhood. One day, our mother Lucia found a sweet on top of our grandpa's grave. This strange episode happened over and again until Lucia found out that the mysterious candy sour was her son Matteo, who was 10, 11 years old at that time. Matteo was really fond of grandpa, who unfortunately died when he was only three years old. When he grew up, Matteo began to go secretly to the cemetery and started to leave sweets on top of his grave, as he hasn't got any money to buy flowers or anything else. But this is just the core around which we built our entire short. We added some characters to the story, for example the grim old aunt to mislead the viewer, or the sweet little dog to give a touch of lightness to the story, which otherwise would be too dark and sad. And then there are the colorful sweets of the title. The sweets are a sort of modern pop revisitation of the Proustian Madeleine. They have the magical power to evoke memories in the main characters and are the link between the world of the dead and the world of the living. We really wanted to tell this family episode and set it exactly where it took place in our beloved city. The jerky movements of the characters are a tribute to stop motion and contribute to create an alienating and surreal effect. We were very much inspired by Tim Burton and Coco by Pixar. We started conceiving the story at the beginning of 2019, but then we had to build a solid financial plan to produce it. 3D animation is not an easy and cheap game, let's say. Uh, it took us 18 months to produce it. We involved 25 professionals for 200 man days in total. But I must say that the hardest thing was finding the right way to tell the story. My brother, my sister and I discussed a lot. But then, after 6 or 7 or 7 draft versions, we found an agreement. Even if we don't have live actors, the casting was really challenging. You can't even imagine in how many different styles and clothes Lucia has been designed before finding the right one. The funniest thing was a comment by, an, uh, by our neighbor. Oh, Lucia was such a fashionable coat, but where can I find one similar to buy? This is our first independent production, so we can say that each step of the process was a lesson learned for us. Let's say that we had a strong confirmation, as in all films, especially those without dialogue like Caramelle, music plays a key role. In our short, the composer, Luciano Titi, immediately grasped the essence of the project and built original pieces tailored to every single scene. The melody of Memories was instead composed by Silvia Fantin. We are very happy and thrilled to be in the official selection of the European Independent Film Festival and we really hope the audience will love our movie. Bye bye!